Allah, Allah, you see. God is see. No, no need. I give you that nut You go. Go, you go. Hey, what's up, guys? This is me, TSP Ruff, Shiva the Spiritual Philanthropist, and I saw this video. I've never really seen this man's uh, videos. He's the African-American gentleman here. Uh, apparently, he went to Sri Lanka, and he says, I can't believe this happened to me in Sri Lanka. To me, that was alluding to maybe an act of racism, the way he had it uh, with a picture on the cover looked just like this. And I'm like thinking... I've seen things like that with, uh, you know, when black people go to uh, other countries, especially like to Asian or South Asian countries. That's meaning whether it's, you know, uh, India, Pakistan, Sri Lanka, or even some of the Chinese and, you know, di uh, different areas like that. And they do, you know, uh, uh, they are treated with disrespect and people are racist towards them. But this was a bit different, guys. Um, we're going to take a look at this and you're going to see for yourself exactly you know what <laughs> what went on it wasn't exactly what i thought so i will speak the truth on it as usual so let's uh let's just take a look at this guys let's uh let's see let's see what what happened let's see what they have here they've got some fish i think there's some more chicken there some fish nothing really different hello hi hi hello hello is, is there a menu here? Huh? Some food. No, no, I said some food. Some food. What do you want? Food. Uh, I have the fried chicken and seafood. You want a sting hopper? What is this? This is a sting hopper. What the? Steam hop? Steam hopper. Hopper. Yeah. You want a sting hopper and seafood? What do you like? The fried chicken. I've I've had a lot of chicken today. Yeah. He said, you know, kote kote, look 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 kote. Kote. Yeah, I make that kote. Let's get some kote. Yeah. Yeah. You like? I don't know what it is. Yo, it's spicy or not spicy? I like spicy. Spicy. Okay. I like some spicy. Yeah. Yeah. Let's get some kote kote. Okay. The chicken, the chicken you like? What do you like? Chicken? You know fish. Fish. You okay. Know, let's, let's try some. How much is it? Uh, one thousand eight hundred. Huh? One thousand eight hundred. Big, big. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, don't, 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 don't. Hey. How, how much is it? Oh, wait. How much? How much? How much? Oh, I think. One nine. You just told him the price. Yeah. This is my own boss. This is a worker. Boss. Do you want? You want that. No need. That's all. Don't, yeah. Allah, yeah. Allah, see. God is see. Don't cheating here. Okay? You don't ask me how much they are, at me. Okay, don't that. Okay, that's not, not good. You want to no, pack? Uh, do you know why? Because I thought you were just somebody. Not cheating, else. I have a children also, okay? Yeah. I'm not cheating. So Allah is see. God is see. No, no need. I give you that, not my thing. You go. Go, you go. What did I do? Go. Go. Okay. okay, you will go now. I didn't do anything. What did I do? You had anything down here, not here allowed. Okay, you will go. Go, man. I say go. I will go. Yeah, go. I I didn't do money. Go. Go, 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 go. go. Did I do anything? No, you not do anything. You will go. It's okay. Go, go. You, you. You go, you'll be viral. I didn't do anything. I don't, you don't have to touch me. I don't know. Okay, I'll touch me. I'll go. Interesting. Well, there you have it. I'm not eating there. I will. May I have some ice cream? Okay, guys, so we saw the video, and uh, I just want to go back to that picture where you see the look uh, on his face. You know, uh, you can see that this guy's in disbelief. 
But what the black gentleman was trying to do was to use the same tactics that he, uh, I, I I guess he thought he was being scammed in, in, in other words. But I think that when you go to an Islamic uh, majority of the times, if you go to Islamic countries, most of the times uh, they if they are devout Muslims, they won't use any kind of scamming or anything like that majority of the times it should be like that but uh i think he felt disrespected uh when he asked the gentleman or told the gentleman look this is how much it is if you want it you know we'll order it for you and uh i do think that the black gentleman has the the right to question um not exactly in the way that he did it. It was kind of insinuating. It wasn't really um, respectful in the way that they, they would normally speak. You know, uh, some places allow that kind of bargaining, like in India. Not so much Sri Lanka and Bangladesh. I think maybe India is more open to this, you know, bargaining price thing. And, and you know, some of them obviously are trying to scam it and whatever the case is. But this, to me, uh, is on the part of uh, of the black gentleman here. He's really uh, going about this wrong. And plus, it's $6.36, which is pretty fair price for food. Um, it's not a lot of money. You know, you're talking a little over $5. Uh, you can't get anything like that, uh, normally like that, uh, in any part of the United States here <laughs> for that price. Uh, you're getting authentic Indian, uh, you know, authentic food from that country, from Sri Lanka, which is like Indian food. It's almost the same exact thing, you know. And uh, I think that being as him being a Muslim, the the gentleman there that's working, you know, he also is in the wrong as well uh, in dealing with him in the way that he did by just telling him to leave without hearing what he had to say. So I, I do believe there. They're both kind of in the wrong here, and I think that's what happened. Um, you know, also when you're on other people's territory, I mean, it's just, you know, that's just a rule by itself, man. You know, it's like you don't, uh, you know, you don't have an attitude. You don't try to make, you know, offend the, the, the other person because you're on their territory. There's more of them than there are of you. Um, that shit might work over here in the United States. You know, if you're black and you make a big deal, you have BLM to be, you know, behind you. But over there, they're under God, Islam. They're under Allah. You know, that's why he pointed up. They all do the same thing. They're actually not allowed to cheat with anything, especially when it comes to money. And if they are very devout over there in that sense, which I'm hoping that that's the case. If they're not, you know, that's a whole nother story. But most likely he must have faced, this black gentleman must have faced a lot of people scamming him if he, if he went to other countries. And maybe that's why, you know, he knows... That that's how they do it. They'll say one thing and, and tell them a price when the price is completely something different, you know, and maybe that's why. But at the same time, it is offensive if you as assume that the person is trying to scam you off of uh, food, you know, that they're trying to sell. Uh, that was a bit a bit disrespectful. I have to say that the black gentleman here is kind of wrong in the approach that he took right off the bat. Like I said, it's only six dollars and 36 cents if you saw the the uh, menu there you know and uh or the price of the food when they put it up and uh i i have to disagree with him in his approach i think that it could have been done more tactfully he could have just paid the six dollars and 36 cents and gotten the food and not you know had to go through all this but the mentality if you walk around thinking that everybody's going to be scamming you and you, you know, you, some people, you know, some, some places, especially in Muslim countries where they take that shit very seriously, of course, the reaction would be just like this gentleman did. It, it is a harsh reaction. I don't agree with it either. But at the same time, you're on their territory. They are, uh, they do live a certain way. Uh, majority of them are religious. Their food is halal. That'll tell you quite a bit. You know, if their food is, is halal, that means that everything that they're doing has to be done a certain way. Um, he should have known that if he's traveled quite a bit, from what I can see from, you know, from what he says. Um, you know, just out of out of courteousness, uh, he should have given him the benefit of the doubt. And it's not like he was trying to take 
a couple hundred dollars away from the man. It, it may have been priced, overpriced, what, a dollar or something like that. And, uh, you know, right now he's acting more like, you know, uh, the Hindus and, and, and the, uh, the Jews both have this kind of mentality when it comes to scamming each other. It's a joke, guys. It's a joke. I call the, I say if a Hindu and a Jew got together, it would be a Hindu. So if there are any Hindus and Jews that are out there, you're Hindus, okay? That was a joke that we had back in the day, but it's just a joke. I hope they don't like take that seriously and offensively. But, uh, you know, bargaining down prices is something they do, you know, uh, in India quite a bit. And uh, they do it here also uh, as well. But like I said, this was misleading. When I first saw it, I first actually thought it was something that, you know, the Indian people are horrible because they're racist and this and that in Sri Lanka. But you have to understand, in Sri Lanka, everybody's like black in Sri Lanka. These guys are pretty light-skinned compared to a normal Sri Lankan. Normal Sri Lankans get as like black as night, you know. And uh, India actually has been very racist, racist towards Sri Lanka as well because of it. So you can't even pull that card over there. That wouldn't make any sense, um, no matter which way you look at it. Just like I said, it just comes down to a matter of how you deal with the situation. Any situation, guys, whatever it is, if you come at it with a tactful way, and, and you deal with it uh, in a respectful way, it's always going to come out better. But if you come across uh, accusing someone off the bat, yeah, you're going to have problems there. <laughs> so, guys, uh, you know, I totally love seeing videos uh, where people, you know, kind of put it up in a certain way and they make it look a certain way. But when you go and you look at it and you realize it's actually not that way at all. <laughs> You know, and uh, that's why I said people should don't look at just the cover, open the book and read it. But guys, I'm going to leave you that. I'll probably put up another video today. Who knows? And we'll see what happens. But have a great day. And I'd love to hear your feedback and your comments on this. All right. Talk to you guys later. <laughs>